Hello, Angie Gerber here, and welcome to my podcast, Awareness. Once you know, you can't unknow. A place you can come to start thinking and shifting your thoughts to finally create the results you truly, truly desire. It'll shift your mindset and give you strategies to get out there and get it done. Let's get started. Right, everyone. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year. Regardless of when you're listening to this, it will apply. So let's think about this. We just got through the holidays. There's always this holiday lull. And I think that, you know, regardless of what industry you're in, almost everyone I talked to just wanted to take some time to reflect on the last year and enjoy time with friends and family and just unplug for a little bit, which is absolutely fantastic. And I think I'm all, I mean, I'm all for it. I did it myself. And yet, what are you doing now that that time has passed? You know, a lot of people will set New New Year's resolutions and they'll, you see the memes about, you know, take gyms for an example. I know when I, my gym shut down, but when I would go uh, in the past, the first three weeks of the year, like you don't go if you're a regular at a gym because it is crazy busy because everyone has these new year resolutions to get into shape and to start moving your body. And the truth is, is regardless of it, if it's eating better, if it's hitting the gym, if it's a financial goal or you know, maybe it's a business goal, all these goals and New Year's resolutions that people set, 97 out of 100 people will drop out of their goals or resolutions. And many of them within the first one to two months. So think about that. Think about yourself. And if in the past you've set goals, or you've, um, you know, wanted to become a different version of yourself or, you know, start the year off with a bang, where were you a month later? And I know before I found the information I found and had to have a completely different perspective and understanding on why we do what we do, that was me all the time. I mean, in my real estate career, I remember I would set these goals year after year after year and just completely blunder and miss them by a mile. And uh, it was because nothing changes if nothing changes. I mean, I would fly across the country, I would go to these different camps and to these different trainings and retreats and all this stuff, pay thousands and thousands of dollars. And what happened is you're motivated. You're motivated, you're ready to take on the world. And if you're not disciplined, and if you don't build in all the other components you need, motivation will only get you so far. And then that teeters out. And usually when I got back from one of those trainings or whatever it was, you know, they purposely did it every quarter to keep you motivated. Within a week or two, I was sitting back at my desk, just unmotivated, not wanting to do it, all of the excitement and the ready to take on the world, it had faded. And it's because I didn't go in and do the work. I didn't switch out my bad habitual behaviors and what no longer served me. And I know that happens with so many people. And, you know, 85, 90, 95% of people out there aren't aware of what I'm now aware of. And that's why if you do look at people that set goals and want to go after it, how many people drop out? You know, why do we have a top one to three to 10% of the population that make most of the money? Think about this. So I encourage you, as you're going into 2024, if you do fall off, which 97 out of 100 people will, don't beat yourself up about it. Give yourself some grace and find, find the answers, find out why you do have to do it yourself. I can't do your push ups for you. Another coach or mentor can't actually physically do your push ups for you, you need to do the work, whatever that work is. 
yourself, but you don't need to do it alone. And you shouldn't do it alone. You know, there's so many people that want accountability until they don't want accountability and it gets to be a little bit much. So back that out. Why is that? Why do you not want to be held accountable? You know, what is it? What are the triggers? What are the habitual behaviors and the bad habits that sneak back in? It's first and foremost, being able to recognize that, which I was never never able to until I figured this out. And then when it's happening, have the tools and the understanding of how to switch that and how to get out what no longer serves you and replace it with what does. And that is why I'm so passionate about what I do, and especially helping people with their business goals or business planning or goal setting and understanding that you truly can have whatever it is you desire if you follow a process and if you understand and if you shift your thinking and shift how you do things and commit to it every day, day after day, month after month to get to your goal. That's, that's where it happens. That's where the magic lays. Because you can only stay motivated for so long. And then you need the tools, the resources, the support, the coaching, the mentorship to get you there. And it it's truly like taking something that would take you probably 10 years to figure out and getting it done in six months you know, give or take. So it's it's something that completely changed my life and something that I've committed the rest of my life to getting this out to ev- anyone and everyone. So I ask you, what are you going to do differently this year? How are you going to show up differently for yourself, for your family, for your business, for your goals, whatever it may be? You know, do you have your plan? Do you have it in writing? Are you one of those people, the agents, the real estate agents that I coach, they'll set up a business plan and I'll check in with them two months later, you know, just asking them where their plan, they don't even know where their plan is. They stuck it in a drawer or even if they put it up on their wall, it's just noise in the background. It's not anything that they focus on. So what are you doing differently? What are you going to focus on? What decisions and disciplines are you going to put in place and how are you going to be held accountable? What are you going to do to get from where you are to where you want to be? Because as I've said before, and I can promise you this every day, all day long, you will not get to your goals if they're worthy enough of you and if they're big enough from who you are today. You simply will not do it. It's impossible because what is the beautiful part about setting goals and setting beautiful big goals is that the goal, once you achieve it, is the effect. It's the after effect. It's who you become in the process to achieve the goal. That's the real win. That's the real just thing that you want to lean into because If you do that, and if you do the 1% better every day that I talk about over and over and over again, you're the worst version of yourself in this very moment. If you get 1% better every day, and if you compete against yourself, and if you beat your best, and if you forget about trying to compete with other people, that's what amateurs do. Like creators and leaders, they show up and they compete against themselves. And they want to become better every day. And they want to take it from where they are to where they want to be, knowing that they need to grow. They need to get very comfortable being uncomfortable. So what are you going to do now to get uncomfortable, to grow, to start that process? Do you even know where to go or what to do? You know, if you don't, I will say it, you, you, I, 100% will always have a coach or a mentor. I have for years. I will always because a great coach or mentor can help you. They can take your blinders off. They can fill in the container. They can make your container tight and they can fill in the holes. So you start, stop leaking all over and can start holding 
this container of greatness and expanding it and growing it and growing yourself. And it's such, such a gift. It is such a gift to give yourself to invest in yourself. But because by doing that, you expand yourself versus continuing to contract. And it's who you become in the process. And that not only benefits you in your business, but it also benefits your partners, your spouse, if you have kids, your coworkers, the people around you. You know, if you elevate and if you understand how to hold your vibration at a certain frequency and not drop it, the people around you will come up to there. But so often, so many people drop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. It's in starting and understanding that you don't stop. And if you do falter what you will, handle that right away and move forward. You don't need to beat yourself up about it. You don't need to feel guilty or bad or like a failure and all that stuff because all that's going to do is drag you down. And the truth is you can't change the past. You can't change what time you woke up this morning. You can't change what you did an hour ago. So why don't you start living in the now, living in what where you can actually make change, make decisions from, and start from here and move forward. Stop beating yourself up. If you've done things in the past or you maybe didn't show up as your best self and your best version, and if you were like me at one point where you had some issues with substance or, or, you know, anger, gambling, alcohol, drugs, shopping, whatever, like get help, get professional help. Because I tell you what, once you take care of whatever it is you need to take care of, if you have some of these demons or these different things inside of you, there is beauty and greatness on the other side of that. And it's a gift to give to yourself. So in setting these goals and going into 2024, you know, I ask you to really start thinking about what it is you need to do for yourself and think about where you want to be in a month, where you could be in a month if you really did this the right way and you were one of the three people that stuck to it through this year that set these goals, that started to go down this process and started to understand that, hell, if I can do it, I can promise you anyone can do it. And if any one person has done what you intend to do, there is no reason why you can't. You are your only problem and you are your only solution. So think about that. Think about what it is you want to do and who you need to become. You know, instead of getting up and doing, you know, I all for positive affirmations and I do gratitude every day, flip it, like I said before, and start thinking about who you can't show up as, what you need to stop doing, whether it's procrastinating, hitting the snooze, not working out when you say you're going to work out, not keeping your promises to yourself or to the people around you, not showing up in your best light. You know, start with what you're going to stop doing and start replacing those with different decisions and different disciplines and start giving yourself the little wins. And through that, your self-esteem and your self-image will continue to increase. And if you do that 1% better every day, imagine, just imagine where you'll be in a year. You will, just like I did. You'll need a telescope to look back to see who you once were because it's going to be so far removed from who you will become if you want it bad enough. How bad do you want it? So ask yourself, and if you need a coach and you need a mentor and you need someone, which we all do, don't kid yourself, we all do, look at the top of the top, the elite of the elite, whether it's athletes, CEOs, business owners, They all have people around them to support them, to help them, to point them in the right direction. We have people that, you know, coaches that I talk with, 
take people from 10 million or 100 million to a billion. I mean, you should always want more. We're all for expansion. So think about that. Think about where you're at today. Set these goals. And if you're like most people and need the help, reach out because this is what I do. This is what I'm dedicated to. I love the elite coaching. I love helping people understand this process and understand that by shifting your perception, using your imagination, your intuition, memory, reason, will, your higher faculties versus your five senses, and tapping into what it is you truly desire and switching your thinking, your vibration, your frequency around that, magic happens. It can happen. It happened for me. So reach out. Let's have 2024 be the best year yet because it can be. You just need to make the decision and choose you and choose into yourself and into your goals and into what you want. And first, you need to know what that is. So start there. Start with what it is that you truly desire. And we can go from there. So Till next time, make it a good one. Enjoy this first week of 2024 and let's set some big goals. Let's be the one of the three and let the other 97 people that are going to drop out, drop out. Don't be one of the 97. Be one of the three that are going to crush it and kill it this year because you can. I believe you. I see you. And I know that you can do it. All right. Take care, my friends. Thanks for spending some time with me today. And if you like what you heard, feel free to share, like, subscribe, follow, do whatever it is you do. I'd love to get this out to as many people as possible because it truly all does start with awareness. Once you know, you cannot unknow and it changes everything. And of course, if I can help in any way, I'm here and happy to do so. Until next time, make it a good one.